Ayan, magandang araw. Ngayon, nakasumbrero ako para maiba naman. Story number 12 and 13, Jacob's Dream and Jacob's Large Family. Jacob took all he could bring with him and went on a long travel for his uncle named Laban. One night, on his journey, he was completely exhausted and had fallen asleep using a flat stone for a pillow. As he was sleeping, he had a strange dream, for he saw a ladder going up to the sky. Angels were going up and down. He stood up at the ladder and said to Jacob, I will be with you, protect you, and keep you safe. I promise that you will have a family that is too big to count, and your family will give the world something wonderful. The next morning, Jacob woke up and he said, Now, I know for sure that God is with me and wants to bless me. He then took the stone that he used as a pillow and raised it up and poured oil on it. Now it marked the spot where God took Jacob in a dream. Finally, Jacob came to Laban's house. Laban was a very rich man and owned hundreds of cows, sheep, and goats. Jacob worked for Laban taking care of his animals for 20 years. Jacob also married Laban's two daughters, Rachel and Leah. And he had 12 sons altogether. Jacob also became a rich man and owned many cows, sheep, and goats. But Jacob wanted to go back in Canaan. He wanted to be his brother and family. When Esau learned that Jacob was coming home, he sent a message to Jacob. He told Jacob, I am bringing 400 men to meet you. Jacob was afraid that Esau was still very angry at him. Jacob therefore sent out servants to bring gifts to Esau. Jacob therefore sent out servants to bring gifts to Esau, hoping he was not angry anymore. But Esau had forgiven Jacob. The men Esau sent to meet Jacob only came to help him with his animals. When Esau saw Jacob, he ran to him and hugged him and kissed him, and they wept. So Jacob had tricked Esau and made him very angry. He had forgiven him and was very happy to see his brother again. He wanted the family to be together again. Sana nagustuhan nyo ang kwento natin ngayon. Mga kaibigan, kahit anong magawang kasalanan ng ating kapwa, matuto tayong magpatawad at magmahalan. So, baybayan nyo pa ang iba kong kwento. Forget to like and subscribe and please hit the notification bell para ma-notify kayo kung meron ako upcoming videos. Bye-bye! Mama Chup Chup! God bless!